So, Zizwe, is it a financial decision for Safaricom to use AI? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or not? <laughs> Let me answer carefully so that... <laughs> Finance, I love you. <laughs> anyway, no, no, um, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely not. Yeah. Um, the, the, the decision has always started from a point of creativity mm. and what, what this tool can do for us creatively, mm. right? As much as AI does the work, mm. you cannot get rid 100%. of you. Hundred percent. Right? Yeah, yeah. You cannot get rid of your writer because. Yeah. How a writer tells oh, yeah. the story, mm. and how I tell mm. an African story, yes. a story as a Kenyan, mm. yes. would be the same way AI, yes. tells. And AI yes. tells it. No yes. matter how much yeah. you feed it, mm. you can't get rid of the uh, personal human yes. touch, touch. Yes. emotion. Yes. Yeah. Africa can't be left behind. Yeah. You know, if this is where things are going, let us at least try and understand it. Let us double. Let us. Let us use the AI in a way that benefits us and is able to tell our story. Okay. Yeah. The realm of creativity, once considered an exclusive domain of human imagination, is experiencing a seismic shift. Artificial intelligence is making its mark in the creative industries, from music composition to visual arts and even in storytelling. Mm -hmm. This rise has brought about both exciting possibilities and challenges. Prompting the question, is AI a collaborator or a competitor in the creative industry. Today, I'm joined by my esteemed guests who are going to be speaking about this very exciting topic of artificial intelligence and the creative economy. This is the Safaricom Newsroom podcast, and I'll be your host, Julian Kamau. And for my guests, I'd like them, I'd like them to introduce themselves and I know they say men before ladies and first. ladies first. So I don't know which one wins. I'll go with ladies first. Okay. I was going to say we go with him since he's the visitor today. Yeah. But okay, I'll go first. Hi. Um, thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, I'm Zizwe Awar mm-hmm. and I head up um, brand and marketing at Safaricom. I'm very excited to be having this conversation. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. Um, my name is Trevor Maingi. I'm a... Um, Visual artist. Mm-hmm. I do photography and mm-hmm. filmmaking mm. as a full-time career. Nice. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. This is going to be fun. I'm yes. looking forward to this conversation. <laughs> yes. So let's have fun. And we'll start off with this uh, first thing. Safaricom has been at the forefront of using artificial intelligence in its operations. Mm -hmm. Uh, And there's been a lot of conversations, especially on the platform X, Mm -hmm. about (laughs) you guys eliminating people in the equation of the creative economy. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about that, Zizwe? Look, I've been enjoying the conversations. Mm -hmm. I've been enjoying it. I love that um, people are talking, mm-hmm. you know, because I think that's important. I think Kenyans need to be part of the discourse, mm. whether the conversation is positive, whether it's negative, because it challenges us, yeah, mm-hmm. and challenges us as Safaricom, me and my team as brand builders, right? Mm-hmm. So in terms of Safaricom's role, you know, Safaricom, even beyond AI, mm. we are the innovative company, right? When you think about Safaricom, you think of innovation. So for me, that just doesn't apply to these things, Mm -hmm. right? It also applies to how we create, how, you know, uh, how, uh, how do we ensure that innovation is a part of our creative process when it comes to building the brand? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we started the journey about a year ago um, when we decided that when we were doing our Chapadimba um, TV ad, Mm -hmm. we wanted to create the first AI TV ad in Africa, Mm -hmm. right? And I know it, it, it was bold. I know even the agency at the time were like, no, Zizwe, this is not something you want to touch. You know, creatives don't like AI. You're going to finish the jobs Mm -hmm. and, you know, all this discourse that you, you, you feel. So even us from a brand point of view were kind of pushing the agency. Yeah. Mm. But what was interesting to see is that, you know, mid process, it was the agency who were like, 
Safaricom, I'm so glad you pushed us on this, right? Mm -hmm. it, this is another tool in our arsenal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it has allowed us to be more efficient, more creative. It's just another tool, like how you have a camera or a pen or whatever. It's a tool, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I think for me, that's always a key point to land mm -hmm. because at the end of it, if you don't have, you, you need the humans who are thinking, who are drawing the storyboards, who are yeah. coming up with a creative con con um, concept. And then AI is just one of the tools, like the camera, which is going to bring it to life. And they became actually our biggest advocates, right? Mm. Because at the end of the day, we still needed to shoot, right? It was shot on a, on a green screen. We still had the kids playing the soccer or football. Um, and then obviously we enhanced it with um, AI. So for me, it's been a very interesting journey. <laughs> Um, because we are learning, yeah. all of us are learning, mm -hmm. yeah. So, which is why I note to my earlier point. Um, um, I've been it, it's been interesting to to hear the discourse, because at the same time, you know, it challenges it, it challenges us to look at things differently. Mm -hmm. But it's it's something we can't shy away from. I think, yeah, um, yeah. We, we but can't really, shy what inspired? You. What what was the inspiration for you to start using AI? What was that moment? Do you oh, just think about the, just mm. rewind back like twelve months when mm. you were getting all those messages on WhatsApp from mm. your mom, from your uncle mm. that AI has come, AI is going to finish <laughs> us, it's robots, it's whatever. So obviously, when you're working in a tech company, uh -huh. you're just like, I need to know what this AI thing Illuminati. is. You know, you know all those yeah, things, right? <laughs> you know all those crazy things, mm. right? But then obviously, um, being in a tech company, you're also exposed to the other parts of of it right mm -hmm. um and you were, we were all, i was also seeing a lot of company um other creatives out there mm -hmm. who are and in you know other countries um mostly outside of the mm -hmm. continent who are doing this yeah. so for me there's also always a thing of africa can't be left behind yeah. you know if this is where things are going let us at least try and understand it let us double let us let us use the AI in a way that benefits us and is able to tell our story. Okay. Yeah. And right. in fact, there are, there are a lot of learnings there, but we can, we'll come, we can we'll come that. to that. Yeah. We'll yeah. come to that. For you, Trevor, yeah. as a photographer, I'm sure you've done this like over a decade. That's what you say. Yes, yeah, it's been... What was your first reaction when you heard that we're going to be using AI hmm. to develop photos? I think my first reaction was, I, I, I clearly didn't see where it, it was going right. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very interesting. So here's the thing: when it comes to assignments, mm -hmm. I always prefer rather rather go with an open mind, right? Because mm -hmm. things change on ground, things. But when they told me um, you're working with the designers, it's an AI concept. I was like, okay. So it's um, the, the designers tried to explain it because mm -hmm. um, it was on call when the producer uh, called through. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, we'll see. Maybe how. background. Let's yeah, start yeah. with what what producer. Maybe you need to tell us your role <laughs> yeah, in yeah. in with Safaricom. What okay. what what? How are you engaged on this? So for this uh, for the Safaricom calendar, mm -hmm. um, which was a whole team, we had Black Eye as the production company. Okay. We had Tessera Communication mm -hmm. as the digital agency. Then. On the on my team was the drone drone pilot. Mm -hmm. Then we had uh, Alan Gishigi, who mm -hmm. was the on ground photographer. So mm -hmm. it was a mix of both drone mm -hmm. and on ground pictures. Okay. Yeah. So back to the question of your first reaction. You've been told you're going to be working with the designers, yeah, yeah. and uh -huh. so the first yeah my first reaction was just okay. This is a very new approach to things. I've mm -hmm. never done this before. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, okay, I don't know where this will go. I'll be patient. Uh, I'll probably make my or raise questions when now I see how things are shot, mm. the, the end result. Mm. Yeah. Okay, mm. good one. So for you this way, what was the actual brief to the photographers? The brief was that we want to, first of all, our Safaricom calendar is always about showcasing the beauty of this country, mm. right? So that's mm -hmm. where it starts, right? So how are we able to show Kenya in a fresh way mm. Um, in an exciting way, and if and and we wanted we wanted a tech angle. So what's mm -hmm. the tech angle, right? Mm -hmm. So we thought, um, what about Kenya in the future? Like if mm -hmm. we were to project mm -hmm. Kenya in the future, you mm -hmm. know, our dreams, our hopes, our mm -hmm. hard work. What would Kenya look like as enabled by tech? Mm -hmm. So the next, I guess, natural progression would be like, okay, what if we were to take photos of you know different places in Kenya and then mm -hmm. use AI to now reimagine re mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. So that's why, I mean, you know, it was so important, again, the photos, the drone shots, mm -hmm. all of that, mm -hmm. because it has to be from a foundation of something. Yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is that they are needed to first be the photos. 100%. So it's a development from the photos. Yes. Okay. Yes. For you, Trevor, we see the final product. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Kenyans, especially on X, mm -hmm. uh, 
thought that this was created without the, photo mm, with the photographer yeah, yeah, out of the yeah. equation because it looked very unrealistic, mm. you know? Uh, maybe you can take us through the process of creating the calendar yeah. for us for us now to be able to see the final product. Mm -hmm. What was the process like? The process, um, in an, I'll try not to match it. Right? Yes, yeah. But um, the process was, let's start with Nairobi, right? Mm -hmm. um, we started with KCC as our main location, right? We're looking for, so for all the locations, mm -hmm. we're trying to find a, an interesting point that shows this is Nairobi, this mm -hmm. is Nairobi, mm -hmm. this is okay, Uniqueness. This something that makes this city stand out, right? Yeah. So from that, um, we take the photos, Alan would take the stills from the camera, mm -hmm. take a couple of drone shots. Okay. Then we'd have the designers feed it into mid journey. Okay. Then now so you need to explain what is mid journey for those of us <laughs> who don't know. <laughs> yeah. So mid journey is a AI tool, mm -hmm. right? That helps generate visual images. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it can go as crazy. So it depends on how creative the designer is. Because mm -hmm. AI is a tool. What you feed it is what it will spit out, mm -hmm. right? So we had, funny thing, we had a very, day one and day two, mm -hmm. we had, uh, there was a bit of back and forth, right? Because mm. once you give the um, designers the images, they fed it into AI, and it was a whole new thing, mm. right? Oh, it, it completely, completely changed. completely changed. So we had this discussion, me, Alan, Buru, and mm -hmm. Papu, the mm -hmm. designers, mm -hmm. right? So we were like, mm -hmm. um, guys, what's the need of us being on this shoot? If Ooh. this if this is the end result, the end right? Result. Mm. You know, yeah. Um, we even were like, okay, take take us out of the picture. Mm. If you show um, Lake Nakuru, mm. if you look at let's say let's say Isiolo, right? Mm. Um, yes, there's an airport, but if you look at if you looked at the end result, yeah. it was a whole different thing. And you see, if you're showing this into to someone who's the common, let me call them the common man, right? yeah. mm. the person on ground there um, who's like, okay, you've given them the calendar and you tell them, this is the <laughs> like airport. <laughs> like, is it oh, the way? <laughs> 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 so we had, we had the one and the two. Yeah. There was, was very interesting conversation. We were like, okay, listen, we get, yes, we're using AI, but yeah. at the same time, you cannot transform this whole thing entire... into something that's new. Like, you want someone, when I look at this, I'm like, okay, KTC, but you see, like, mm. 10 years from now, mm. KTC will still be there. Mm. Right? Yes, mm. yes. I don't think it will, it will ever it will change. Because it's something that... It's a landmark. Yes, yeah. 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 So that was something we we had to make sure that, mm. even thinking out of a creative side, I'm like, if I was to look, if I was to show this to my kid, I'm like, I did this work. This was <laughs> Nairobi 10 years ago. Huh? Uh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that was the interesting conversation we had. You had yeah. to uh, at least step back yeah. mm. and be like, okay. So how did you change Finally. your prompts yeah. Yeah. so that it came out so now the that right was, way? Mm. That was, so the thing with this, um, I can't even take credit for the yeah. end result. Mm. It was all the designers. Because mm. they're the ones who were working overnight. Because mm -hmm. we'd shoot, get to our location, yeah. uh, the hotel. Mm share the images, they mm. do the selections, and they now start mm. doing drafts. The selections. selections. Yeah. They key in their prompts. Mm. Because you see, the, the brief was taken in the future. Yeah. You look at, um, let's say, um, Voy. Mm. Voy has the railway, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, the interesting thing was trying to key in words that don't throw it completely, completely exactly. off. So exactly. if you're looking at the exactly. end, I'm guessing they're prompt to something. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Tree, exactly. Just something that exactly. not too far off, mm. but yes. still realistic. But still exactly. realistic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've gotten your images and you love them, and then, of course, they come back to you. Mm. What was your first feeling mm. when you saw the images or the final product? Well, I loved it. Uh -huh. I loved it. Completely. I loved it because yeah. I think what the team had managed to do mm. is not lose the essence of Kenya mm. and all these beautiful locations that we shot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, I just coming back to know the point that, you know, he was making. It's about, again, um, because what, what time, the, you know, with AI, it's all about the prompt, right? Mm. It, it, it doesn't just go wild on its yes. own, right? Yes. And coming back to that, you know, the, the point we've been saying mm. is that the human is still needed. Yes. You the still equation. need that human. Yeah. The human is still needed in that equation, yeah. right? Because otherwise, to your point, then it just spits out something Whatever. and you're like, what, a, yeah. what is this, yeah. you know? So, so for me, I think what the team did 
very well, mm -hmm. starting with the great work of the photographers, mm -hmm. was then creatively inputting and prompting mm -hmm. so that what came out was something that still felt Kenya, mm -hmm. but was still... I guess futuristic, futuristic yeah, and you know aspirational, aspirational and you're just like ooh, you know yeah. um, I think for me one of my favorite ones is the one of water mm. uh, that's my oh, actually my favorite one in the nice. calendar it's my favorite one yeah and we'll put the water here oh yeah somewhere. please put water yes exactly water please that's my favorite because <laughs> yeah. it, it I mean just the way you, from the original photo of the I think it's a river at the yeah. bottom yeah. and then the hill on the side mm. and then the way it was transformed hands down for me that is my favorite right and it yeah. still feels even though it's the future it yeah. still feels like countryside it's it's yeah, yeah it still feels like even in the future there'll be shags yeah. you know it's like it doesn't there's a blend, there's, there's a blend. the nature doesn't disappear it's mm -hmm. not robots it's not all of that so for me that was my favorite one but an interesting thing um you know just talking about your um that, that you made me think of when you were talking about you know, your first day when you were putting things in the mm. computer and mm. was spitting out um, weird things. One of our first learnings when we did the Chapadimba TV ad mm. was because what we did, as I said, we shot, we actually shot on like, we shot at the MPES Academy mm. and um, with green screens and stuff. And mm. then we needed to now transform the world around it into whether it was a stadium or mm. whatever, right? So when the creatives now fed that into the computer, and we want uh, uh, basically uh, the final shot of that TV ad is the kids playing in a beautiful stadium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when um, they would prompt putting something like African stadium mm -hmm. into the machine, all it could spit out was like dusty patches yeah. of land, yeah. like very, like it was not, it was in, it was in not AI's mind. You that can't have a world-class stadium Thank you. in Africa, right? Yeah. And for me, that's why it's so important that Africans are getting to uh, are getting into this to conversation because otherwise, this thing is going to leave us behind. And these narratives of the, you know, these narratives which have always been perpetuated about what Africa is mm. will continue into the future. Mm. So for, for me. Critical, critical. Critical. We to, yeah. Yes, we'll come to Chapadimba. Sour. So I'd like us to first finish the calendar, calendar. conversation. Okay. Okay. Then we'll come to the TVC. Okay. Then we we'll calm down. My, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know you're excited, which is very good for me. Yeah. But um, one of the conversations I saw on Twitter, mm. uh, when Kenyans, of course, now are reacting to the calendar, some mm. of the things I saw was, one is that they felt that Safaricom had eliminated uh, people mm. in its final mm. product mm. because Safaricom mm. is a people's brand. Mm -hmm. We've always mm -hmm. used people's faces like in the machinani, mm. Mm. but now this new calendar mm. did not have mm. humans at mm. all. It was mm. a lot of infrastructure. Mm. So that was one of the criticism. Mm -hmm. what, what do you have to say about that? Building a brand is interesting, mm. right? Mm. Because... Um, In one photo or in one TV ad mm -hmm. or in one, um, sometimes the expectation is that that piece of art or that piece of creative needs to do everything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, the way I look, about, look at it is that we're telling a story. A mm -hmm. story has chapters, a mm -hmm. story has, right? So what you're going to see from Safaricom mm -hmm. is all those stories, all yeah. the stories of Kenya, yeah. right? So... Do, do we take back the feedback? Hundred mm. percent, right? Yeah. But this is not the end of the story, yeah. right? Um, there's, you know, the next. This, I mean, if we stick with the calendar, there's a calendar going to come out this next, year, exactly. next, you know, all that stuff, mm -hmm. right? And, and 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 if you look back, actually, if you if you if you look back even at the calendar from the previous season, mm. there was actually not a single person in there. Yeah. It was it was showing our religious sites all over right. Kenya. Yeah. So, but again, it's it's for me, it's we definitely take take the feedback. Mm. Um, but I guess I would encourage people to look at this as a story that Safaricom is telling, and they'll and they will see it when all the work comes the work out. Yeah. So at the at the heart of it, we're still very much that brand about Kenyans, about Kenyan people, mm. about all walks of life of Kenya. Not that the people living in the in, in the cities, but mm. in the rural areas and stuff. Mm. And I can guarantee you, in the next month nice. that question will be erased from all kenyans minds because nice. there's some exciting stuff coming okay yeah perfect yeah another thing that came up uh on on x is that it looked unrealistic mm -hmm. it was too good to be true mm -hmm. there's no way this can 
be Kenya with all the problems we have, right? <laughs> so what, what are your thoughts on that? I, my thoughts um, are always interesting when it comes to telling people to imagine things. Yeah. I mean, um, if, mm. we, if you go back, Kabambe Tokalin, if you go back to yeah. Kabambe, yeah. Yeah. tell someone, mm. um, yeah. just try picture the future, what phones do you think we'd have? Mm. No one would ever tell you, tell you we would here be... using touch, Never. you know, mm-hmm. such things. So for me, I'm like, okay, it makes sense, mm. but from a creative perspective, I'm like, there's so many possibilities mm. when it comes to mm. you wanting something to happen. Mm. Right? Yeah. If, you, um, if we, I mean, if we had everything, if we had the money, mm. finances wasn't an issue. Mm. Yeah. If I'm told what I, what I think of a camera I'd want in the future, I'd give you something Amazing. out of, out of yeah. it. Right? Yeah. But if you ask someone who, ha- who hasn't used the camera, they give you something that's within mm. a tiny box. Yeah. So for right. me, it's, there's, a, there's a seasor to it. It mm. depends like it. on who you're asking. Mm. To someone else, but damn, we can't. There's no way. There's we'll no way we'll ever get yeah, yeah. But someone yeah. who sees, who mm. imagines or mm. knows possibilities. Yeah, like, this, mm. is this is possible. Yeah. I, so. I love that, I and so. also I think just the fact that we are at. We are a brand that encourages Kenyans, you know, mm. and takes us to the mm. next level. We are the forefront, mm. and so we have to really mm. be optimistic. Maybe I think, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. we've already done. I mean, the thing. I mean, as a brand and as yeah. a country, yeah. we've already done things which were unimaginable. unimaginable. You know, like, again, if you think about, if you rewind backward um, mm. seventeen years, if you told someone you would send money. Through. on a M-Pesa. phone they would have looked at you like you're a crazy, you're crazy. person you're a crazy person you yeah. know um, if you had done a calendar there of money f- you know flying through the air people would have thought you're crazy but now it's every single Kenyan it's is possible yeah, so even in the remotest of it. the places that's it we need to imagine I think and that's what I think as creatives mm-hmm. you know we need to inspire okay lovely so now let's go back to the Christmas ads uh, yes. Again, uh, during the Christmas period, we had a lot of advertising mm. on our billboards, and we had these models mm. um, who we were using mm. as part of our advertising mm. and marketing of our products. Mm. Again, the conversation of these were AI generated mm. images mm. and they were not mm. photographed. Mm. Gr- any photographers mm. involved mm. in that. Mm. Uh, and that again brought about the aspect of how Safaricom, which has been the biggest supporter of the creative economy, mm. uh, and they were very appreciative of Safaricom mm. all these years, mm. is now um, somehow eliminating mm. uh, these people who've mm. been very critical mm. in, the, uh, in the production of the creative content. Mm. Um, Mm -hmm. So what can you say about that, especially when it comes to job losses? Mm. Because those would have been photographers taking Mm. those photos, Mm. right? Mm. Uh, Your thoughts? Yeah. I think think I'll start off by saying that we're still very much a supporter of the creative economy. I'll Mm. get into that. Mm. But um, I think, you know, this AI thing is a journey. Mm. We are all learning. Mm. We're all learning, right? And as with any... As with any learning process, you have stuff that you're just like, this is incredible. Yeah. Then there's stuff like, oh, maybe this one I could have done could a have bit done better. better. Right? Yeah. So I'll acknowledge that even from a safari com point of view, like, you know, when I look at some of the creatives, I'm just like, okay, this one, you know, for next time, let's learn X, Y, Z mm. and that. Right? So um, I think that's how I look at it. I don't look at it as AI was the issue, hmm. right? Hmm. I think, as a, you know, AI is the tool. Hmm. It's the people, you know, it's, it's, it's how are we, the people behind, who are using that tool, making sure that we are still very present, still pushing the boundaries creatively, etc. etc. Hmm. So um, um, the way I look at that is very much um, a learning, uh, or, or, or just overall, how do we learn from, where, from instances where maybe creatively we didn't hit the spot as yeah. well as we would want, right? Yeah. Now, if I move to the creative economy side, mm-hmm. yeah, just to, 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 um, to, to, to chat on that. Yeah. Um, if I think about, oh, you know, over the last year, we have, um, when, I, when it comes to the Chapadimba shoot, there was a whole crew behind it. Calendar shoot, you've already chatted to the people behind the scene. Yeah. If I think about, um, again, the campaigns which we have been working on in the last three months, which will go live, our last campaign, I think there were over 100 people on set. Right. Yeah. Um, no, that's not even talking now. Post production, etc. Etc. Mm-hmm. Right. So, the commitment to the creative economy is still very much there. We're still very much investing. Yeah. Um, we've invested a lot this year, and we're going to continue to invest a lot. Mm-hmm. So, what I would say is that it's not. It's it's. 
it's just to reassure Kenyans and reassure creatives, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that the jobs are still there, the jobs are still going to be coming. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're sitting here is proof that the jobs are <laughs> coming. Are still... And I'm hoping that, in, you know, in, in, in other episodes, you're going to bring all the other creatives, yes. you know, who we've, 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 we've been partnering with yeah. um, because there's so, so many, because there's so much talent um, out there. And it's just, I guess we're just a conduit to showcase to, to Kenyans. Showcase that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to... Agree or disagree with this way. And I'm happy for you to disagree. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you feel like Safaricom yeah. has left out creatives in the ad uh, while adopting yeah. AI? That's, uh, for me, when it comes to the user, I don't want to just bracket in Safaricom. Yes. Because there's so many brands that have hopped on the work on it. Yes. Mm. And I feel what's happening now is a hype of irresponsibility mm. that's happening, right? Mm. There's this new thing that has been introduced to the market and mm. everyone is like, oh my God, mm. it's AI, right? Yeah. So there's few few brands are taking the responsibility to learn it first before you use it, mm. right? You see, for the how the Safaricom calendar worked, mm. it was a collaboration. AI is a tool, mm. yes. right? Yes. That's how I see it. AI is a tool on its own. It's mm. not a workhouse or a workforce that mm. is going to replace mm. everything. Mm. But what is happening now mm. is people are just neglecting yeah. every creative. Yeah. They're like, cut them out. I know a guy. Mm. That's, that's what's happening, right? <laughs> and so you can do this in-house. Yeah. Yeah. You have yeah. a designer. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're neglecting <laughs> the fact that... Mm. AI is a tool. There's yeah. no way AI will replace my mind. Never. Yeah. Um, looking at the Safaricom calendar, this is something I've always wanted to do since 2014. Oh, right? yeah. So it came to that time. This was the first yeah. time. Yeah. Right? Amazing. So you get, um, where was I going with this? Yes, um, the calendar The calendar assignment comes through, mm -hmm. right? You're given, you're given, like I said, um, seeing the first result, you're like, what how now? <laughs> how, how is this? What I would have been hoping to let the designers do this work. Yeah. Yeah. That's, if you're going to use a tool, yeah. let's, let's think of Photoshop. Or mm. what, what, what other tool do you know mm. that? Mm. I'm trying to think of a common software. A com um, an AI software? No, just any. any my, I don't know, I was just thinking of okay. Microsoft things like <laughs> Excel. I don't know. Oh, everything we use is a tool. Is a tool. Even a knife um, is a tool. <laughs> yeah. You learn, you, learn, yeah. you, you want to learn how to cut. Yeah. yeah. You never go for the sharpest sharpest. Yeah. 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 Try yeah. speed yeah. cutting something. Yeah. 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 But now we've mm. neglected the, mm. what made the calendar interesting or mm. what it is true to now mm. is the photographer's mm. perspective, right? Mm. There's no day. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. The AI would have known the best um, angle to take. Mm. A railway is top down, mm. angle it this way, mm. the horizon, mm. get a I like star. that. Yes. Yeah. Even if you give a, um, a, your designer, mm. tell him you want a railway this, yeah. he won't see it as a yeah. photographer does it. Yeah. Right? Yes. Look at uh, how the AI billboards look. There's mm. no texture to yes. this mm. right? Mm. You find that people have flawless. But a makeup artist would know how to retain yeah. a human skin mm. without yeah. going over. Yeah. It. Yes. So there's that ethical perspective yeah. that brands need to learn. Yeah. Yeah. As much as AI does the work, mm. you cannot get rid 100%. of it. 100%. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You cannot get rid of your writer because yeah. how a writer tells oh, yeah. the story, mm. and how I'll tell mm. an African story, yes. yeah. a story as a Kenyan, mm. yes. won't be the same way AI yes. tells it. And AI yes. tells it. No yes. matter how much yeah. you feed it. Mm. You can't get rid of the uh, personal human yes, touch, touch. Yes. emotion. Yes. All that. Yeah. So there's now what you're saying is a surge of just yeah. like I said, yeah. a rise of hype yes. and yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm hoping it will die down where yeah. brands will collaborate with yes. all artists. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. With you. yeah. But you see, if, if you work, let's let's think of Ch Ch Chapadimba or yeah. any Safari com based mm. uh, football mm. campaign, right? Mm. There's no day. Um, Nairobi will the same as Eldor. No. Yes. Right? Yeah. So you see, things like those mm. are what we... The nuances. Yes, we mm. neglect, right? You're like, you're so excited. Mm. You're like, okay, we can save on cost X. Mm. We don't need to go to Eldoret. But at the same time, you're forgetting, Eldoret tells a different story, story. than Nairobi. Yeah. Mm. So that those factors mm. where I'm hoping in the future, mm. as we continue going on, mm. that we'll have everyone on the same work. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I see a future where we can still co coexist, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just because you have an iPhone mm. doesn't mean the same app 
um, someone who has an iPhone and Android. Android can't use it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Doesn't mean that, look at M-Pesa, right? Mm. Someone who doesn't have a smartphone mm. can still, can still use send it, money. Right? Yep. Yeah. That doesn't mean just because technology has yeah. been new, mm. you forget about the people yeah. who mm. yeah. aren't. Current, yeah. 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 Okay. For me, as I'm, uh, just, so just building on that, I think, mm. You know, you're talking about an essence of irresponsibility and all that that has mm. crept in. For me, I'll just say it is laziness. Yeah. yeah. It's laziness. Mm. Because if you care about your craft, if you care about the, the, you know, the work that goes out there and, you know, wanting Kenyans... Um, uh, to to see the best, to experience the best of you as a brand, and yeah. you're the marketer of whatever company you mm. are, you have to give it to all. You can't be lazy about this. You can't throw things into a tool and hope for it to spit it to out. So for me, I guess it's a call to other marketers, you mm. know, like myself, mm. that we need to we need to take this back and mm. own it mm. and don't let because you can never let technology or tools run ahead run. of you you need to you need to own control it right it, yeah. and control it and yeah. a key part of that is about is learning about it mm. so how much do you know you know i've been in in brand building or you know in marketing for around 19 years just under 20 years mm. and the world has changed right mm. what i was doing then is not what i'm doing now but what has kept me relevant or would hope has kept me relevant mm. is that the learning all through, you know, as things change, there's whatever learning, you know, um, when I started off, there was no social media, Mm -hmm. you know, we did print media, whatever, right? Social media now is the norm, we get that, but now this is the new tool, Mm -hmm. so we need to learn it as marketers, yeah? Yeah. And that's the only way we can create compelling, you know, engaging um, work, I think. Yeah, Yeah. I totally agree on that, because, Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen it on X, Mm -hmm. and we've seen... Uh, I'll give an example. Mm. Uh, I won't mention the company, mm. but they had these people with, uh, they'd done an AI ad and one of the models they'd used had six fingers. Mm. And the least the editor would have done or the designer is to just re-look at that image yeah. and, and make it normal. Yes. You know, just remove <laughs> one, one finger. finger. How did a whole yeah. team miss yeah. that yeah. this lady it's had? Like, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And six yeah. fingers. Yeah. Uh, also the teeth. There's a way AI mm. is just making the yeah. teeth look mm. some type yeah. of way. The eyes. Yeah. And it becomes very obvious. Yeah. And it's very annoying. Also, I'm in another group uh, of AI uh, mm. experts and somebody fed into the machine mm. and say give me a photo create for me a photo of mother teresa fighting poverty okay the image that came mm. was mother teresa literally yeah. <laughs> oh my god like, pow, pow. Yes, yeah, yeah. fighting yeah. poverty so yeah. again just to reinforce yeah. or rather emphasize that this tool is not smarter than us. Yeah. Sometimes we think they're they mm. are outsmarting us, mm. but it's basically, mm. they are very mechanical. Mm. What you feed them, if you mm. don't do the prompts properly, mm. that's going to come mm. and bite you. And of course, embarrass you as a company. I know the company had to pull down yeah. those images after yeah. being roasted on X. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you don't want to run to use technology when you don't when know. You've not yeah, taken the true. basics of learning mm. how is it used. And I mean, so many people know how to use mm. these tools. Mm. Anyway, yeah. moving on to the next one, which mm. is uh, Chapadimba. I watched the behind the scenes of Chapadimba oh, okay. and mm. what went behind it. But I'm curious to hear from you and how was that creation process like? How was that creation and, process? And also the team. How yeah. big was the team? Yeah. How The, the creation process was was very exciting Mm. because it was new for every single one of us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, like I was saying before, it was that time when AI was robots and Illuminati. (laughs) Yes. Uh, And we're just like, we have no clue what this thing is. Yeah. But I think that's what also made it exciting is that we're all jumping into something new together. Yeah. Right. Um, And learning together. So it was, again, from a briefing standpoint, we Mm. knew that, we were coming back, you know, Chapadimba, for those who don't know, is our is a, a, a national football tournament at a grassroots level for mm. Kenyans, girls and boys, right? Mm. So for the youth. And we knew that we, it, it was, um, we were coming into a new season. It was bigger and bolder than mm. before. We had been quiet for a while because of COVID. So we knew we wanted something fresh and to just excite Kenyans about how we were moving forward with mm. this. We also knew that we had come in with new technology in terms of the tournament itself. Mm. So all of, you know, the players now are now wearing 
wearing AI vests, which are able to, um, you know, relay their statistics as players. Mm. Um, so we, we, were, we were bringing in tech into the sport as well. Mm. So the natural thought was then how do we infuse that above the line when it comes to our creative? And that's how, you know, the AI conversation started there. Mm. And then I think also, I think at the time I had just watched a Coca-Cola ad um, so Coke had released a global AI ad and it was one of the first ones. Mm. So we were all on the team like, we need to be the first ones to do <laughs> to that do here. Africa, Kenya yeah. needs to be put on the map. <laughs> if anyone in Africa is going to do it first, it's going to be Kenya. It has mm -hmm. to be Kenya. And mm -hmm. you know, it's, that's why it's, it's so amazing to work for a company like Safaricom because you get to do those things. So again, still very much people involved in terms of the storyboard was still, you know, ha you know drawn and everything. The yeah. creative team, you know, the agents still, still had to come up with the script. Script. We had um, musical artist Trio Mio mm -hmm. still have to write a song, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I cannot write Cheza Kamawewe, it yeah. cannot, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so um, it, coming up with all that and then the AI was just like the finishing touch to, you know, put that pizzazz, yeah. you know, on, on the ad and just Even make the players. it totally. Yes. I saw the yes. players yes. actually yeah. on set yes. doing their, yes. their with the, all the staff. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was, I would say it was very cool. Mm. It was very, very cool. And then when you see the end product, product mm. um i guess a very proud moment mm. a, a very proud moment and it's it's resonated with kenyans more importantly because also mm. you don't want to do cool stuff for the sake of doing cool stuff yeah you know you're you you're, we're doing this thing for kenyans and to engage with kenyans so the fact that they played back that they loved it and we've seen it in terms of our relevance with youth grow mm. um very fulfilling <laughs> So, Zizwe, is it a financial decision for Safaricom to use AI? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or not? <laughs> Let me answer carefully so that. <laughs> Silence, I love you. <laughs> anyway, no, no, um, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely not. Mm. Um, the, the, the decision has always started from a point of creativity mm. and what what this tool can do for us creatively, mm. right? Um, are there financial implications? Yes, I'd mm. be lying. Uh, I'd be lying if I said you know um, um, they they are. And so they are efficiencies, efficiencies from a time point of view, efficiencies from a money point of view, right? Mm. But it's not like we're taking that money now and putting it in our coffers. Yeah, it is allowing us to do more stuff, mm. right? We are so reinvesting, we're reinvesting back into, into the brand, mm. into you know you are you um to do more amazing stuff. Mm. Um, you know you are, you are asking me, you know I don't know if that was on camera off it but you're asking about our new campaign is it um you know is it ai yeah. i told you no it's not yeah and but it allows us to do more stuff like that also yeah. right um, yeah. and again just coming back to the creative economy point but no it's not a financial it's decision. not a financial decision no. okay how about the ethics and copyright mm. uh, aspect of mm. using ai because mm. we know that um generative ai basically mm. is fed we feed this information mm. into the tool mm. And this, it uses mm. the information, mm. collects a bit of mm. everything, and then gives mm. you this content, which mm. it doesn't own, yeah. um, and then gives you as yeah. original yeah. content. How yeah. is Safaricom navigating that? Yeah, you know, that's a very good question. Mm. And, um, and I think for me, um, one that, you know, we were talking about how all this is a learning process, mm. right? And I think this is a key one mm. where we need to tread carefully and one way we need to really think through how we, how we approach it, mm. right? Um, so in terms of as a Safaricom brand, um, how we are looking at it, and I, again, early days and we, you know, we, we, um, we'll work on it as we think through the regulation, again, coming back to um, earlier questions, mm. is, you know, if I can put it, I think maybe our do I say our backup in a way is the fact that we're still using creatives, mm. right? So, you know, like the same way if we come back to the whole calendar conversation, right? It started yeah. off with, you know, a photographer on the ground, right? So I think the fact that we're still doing that, you can still 
attribute at least a key part of the work to the people who did the groundwork. Is there more work that needs to be done in terms of how we think through it overall, not just for Safaricom, mm. I 100% think so. Mm. Do we want to be a part of that conversation and to help shape that and think through what that would be 100% and we will be? And we will be there. Be, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me, I'd yeah. like to add on to something. Um, where brands really have a big res responsibility to play when it comes to, let me call it building a database mm. where Kenyans, where Africans are represented. Yeah. And, um, and this is where collaboration comes comes through. Mm. If you look at um, this, Superloaf did an um, mm. ad and um, the chicken on Ilipo. <laughs> this one, I've forgotten the brand. Okay, no, the chicken and, one. I'm not sure if it's Kenchik, mm. but chicken what's, in. yeah, what, what one brand did is flip the image. The two ah, people yes, are yes, the yes, the, yes, the, I the saw that. Ah. The, the chicken. Yes, oh, yeah, I remember that ad. Yeah. Yeah. You see, um, yeah. There's no. Yeah. So here's the thing there's, yeah. there's a very. Oof. It's a double edged sword. Yeah. If you look at the mm. outside world, mm. no one is using AI for marketing. Yeah. Mm. They're using people's likeness, like mm. real people. Mm. Find Nike is using Serena mm. to create an ad mm. because. Um, when it comes to, if you see how AI, the final result when it comes to people's um, likeness, yeah. it's easy for me to be like, hold on. Because you see, it learns from what you feed it. Yeah. It's like picking off from images from... That know, exist on that the exist. internet. So it's easy for me to sue a company. Mm. From like, hold up. That's my... That's my... Mm. You know. Mm. So it's, this is where now brands can easily yeah. collaborate with people. You know, you need um, to do a campaign on... Uh, football. Yeah. Get get real play. Real That's it. Not get yes. Generate, yes. You know. Uh, yes. Um, mm. a, a football football team of seven players, or it's 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 a shortcut that, like I said, most are just jumping on a wagon. Yeah. And running away from the ethical side of mm. things. You know, of, yeah. if you're going to use someone's likeness to mm. market a whole. Yeah. Have you paid for them? Yeah. Then yeah. now when you bring in uh, models, yeah. are you paying them? Are you going to be honest as a brand and tell them? Um, this image is going to be mm. used, you're going to mm. feed it into AI mm. because that's a whole different mm. Another conversation. Because you know, yeah. once you feed it, mm -hmm. it's easy for someone Forever. to pick it off. Mm. You know? mm. So it's brands now have the responsibility to either create a database mm. that's specifically locked yeah. Yeah. for a certain market. Because yeah. you know? yeah. once you feed this image into AI, someone else can access it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You see, now if Safari, uh, someone else was to use the Safaricom calendar, mm. it's easy for them to. So them claim copyright. This mm -hmm. is my image. Yeah. But anything that's on the billboard, you're like, no, this is from AI. Yeah. This is a model that's generated by, mm. you know. So it's a very, brands mm. have a very yeah, big agree. responsibility when mm. it comes. And this is where now collaboration comes through. Yeah. Like I said, let's bring the real people back to the picture. Yeah, yeah. So, I love that. Yeah. Amazing uh, viewpoint. Mm. On to the next question, which is, where you said when you were creating the Chapadimba TVC, mm. you input content mm. and you were trying to get uh, African, African stadiums, stadiums. Mm. Uh, and you found dusty everything, mm. right? Mm. What is Safaricom doing to on the in on the um, back end back end mm. of the internet mm. to make sure that we have mm. authentic? Mm images of Africans yeah. represented there? So I think on that one, it's, 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 it's twofold. I think one, um, you know, the more we use AI, the more we are part of this, that, that, that's how AI works, right? Mm. So, you know, the more we as Africans are, are using this tool, mm. AI won't just think that, you know, um, African stadiums are a dusty, <laughs> a dusty yeah. pictures. We do have real stadiums, yeah, people. Yeah. Um, so, so there's a, there's an element of using it, which again, it, which is I guess comes back to the point of let's be bold about and and, and brave about using the 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 um, the, the tools. Mm. From uh, in terms of AI um, tools internally as Safaricom, mm. we do. We actually have a huge um, big data and AI team. Mm. I hope we interview Charlotte and George at some point. Definitely um, coming yeah, for you. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because um, they, they, they do have some great insights there in terms of how we as Safaricom are. It's not just about using other people's tools. Mm. We are creating our own, mm. um, you know, because then we can tell our mm. own stories, right? So, um, which, is, which, is, which, is, which is critical. Mm. It would be nice to have a Safaricom search engine. 
Just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, just yeah. saying, yeah. Or Safaricom Metaverse. Yeah. Or Safaricom. No. I mean, you know, that's what we're talking about. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned to <for> this <laughs> and more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, question for you, Trevor. Do you think AI should be introduced into the curriculum? Ooh. School curriculum. Ooh. So here's my my thoughts are: you can't run away from technology. Yeah. There's no way you can shut out technology. Mm-hmm. I mean, you resist it, you get it out at the end of the day. Right? Yeah. Resist, you miss out. So should it be added? Mm-hmm. My question is: how is it being added? Mm-hmm. Right? You know, you just can't introduce mm-hmm. something new mm-hmm. without a direction to it. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. If you're adding it, how is it? Is there someone who's knowledgeable? Not well. Who knows about it so well that is teaching the kids? Yeah, right? Is yeah. it bettering mm. the mind of that young man? Right? Mm. Um, there's, there's, there's the whole conversation of um, regulating AI. Mm. You've seen how you're the only one who calls it X. I call it Twitter. <laughs> even I still, even I still <laughs> call it Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That brand rebranding yeah, is failing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, on Twitter, um, mm. there's this... Um, let me call him a trip, mm. who used, um, who created unethical images of an artist. Mm. Oh. Right. Wow. So you see, if it, it wow. with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. Mm. If you're going, because I, I imagine a kid's mind is, mm. you know, mm. it has a lot to explore. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, like I said, regulation is important. Mm. Even if it, it has, not really has to be, but if it's going to be introduced, mm. let it be a guided path for. Yeah, you know, the people who, who get access to it. So it's mm. a double-edged sword. Mm-hmm. Always, just, always. just same, like same way if you give a kid your phone now, right? They will do. They, they can know, use it for good, good or, or for bad. bad. Yeah. Same with social media. I've had yeah. when social media was coming into the scene again. Mm. It was a conversation of mm. social media is a bad mm. platform. Mm. Marriages are breaking. Yeah. Relationships. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what does social media have to do <laughs> with your marriage? Yeah. Like it yeah. does not make sense. Mm. So I totally agree. Mm. How about regulation for you? What 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 are, what are your thoughts around regulation? Do you think we should yeah. have regulation? Yeah. And who would that be? Yeah, look, I think I think in life <laughs> regulation is necessary. Yeah. You can't. I, I, I think that's just the reality of life. Mm. You know, whether you're talking about tech or AI or just mm. you know simple things. I mean, when you go to school, there are rules and regulations. That's yeah. just how life works, mm. right? So for me, I think the key thing would be that as you know, as Kenyans, as Africans, we need to be part of creating that regulation. If mm. we're not at the forefront, what's going to happen is you know the Western countries are going to create regulation that works for them, that mm. works for their societies. Mm. So for me, it's just important that a company like Safaricom is mm. at the table mm. um, because, you know, um, you know, purpose, the purpose of transforming lives is, is, is top of mind for mm. them. And so we can make sure that this regulation works for Africans. Yeah. So that's that's my view on this. We should have regulation. OK, yeah. I'm lo- I've loved that conversation. I'd like to hear your final thoughts, yeah. uh, maybe to a photographer who is feeling left out in this uh, shift yeah. in the creative economy mm-hmm. and they are probably wondering what should I do as a young photographer right now mm-hmm. to, to prepare for this new reality mm-hmm. that AI is here to stay and I either have to adopt or be left mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. My, I think my advice, I'll give, I'll give an example of my journey. Mm-hmm. I'm starting out, um, you have to evolve, mm. right? There's no way you can be stagnant at one spot. And that doesn't mean mm. you have to learn AI, mm. right? Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm an example. I still haven't boarded the AI wagon simply because I'm like, okay, if I'm going to use it, how am I using it, mm. right? I just don't want to use it for the sake, for the sake of, of it, it right? Yeah. The, the, the reason why this is my 10th year as a photographer, mm. right? Full-time photographer and filmmaker. Mm. And the thing that I've learned, the thing that makes me, that has made me still be relevant, mm. is being myself, right? Mm. You, can, you can give the, that, to that new photographer who's coming up, mm. you can give them a camera, to the, the best camera, right? I always tell people, mm. if money wasn't a limit, right? Mm. If I gave you all the money you needed, go mm. buy the gear you need, mm. the equipment you need, would you still tell, tell the same story, mm. right? Mm. So it's not about what's happening now, it's how you're doing it. Mm. It, all, it all boils down to you as a creative. Yes, you're a writer, AI has come through, right? Yeah. How are you changing your storytelling, mm. right? Mm. You're a photographer, 
AI has replaced the market. Mm. Doesn't mean you have to use AI. There's, there's a photographer called um, Carlos is it Carlos Benon mm. on on Instagram. Yeah, he's he's an architect, and the way he uses AI to tell his stories mm. is mm. like he doesn't like let's say you think of um, the northern side of Kenya mm. where children still learn under and the trees. trees right? Yeah, mm. he will not steal that. He will not take that out of the story, mm. but he will build an architect that you see kids under mm. elements of trees or something, yeah. new architecture, but still mm. that remains, you get yeah. mm. So it all boils down to you as an individual, mm. how are you telling your stories? Because AI or the next new phone is a tool. Mm. It, it doesn't matter. 20 years from now, maybe we'll be snapping pictures from our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but the story wow. that you tell mm-hmm. as you mm-hmm. is what gives you power to do. Yeah. yeah. So the testimonials, yeah. your personal story, mm. That's you. basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love that. For you, Zizwe, uh, for the industry and marketers um, who are now wondering where do we start with this AI? Mm. You know, we want to use it, mm. but we don't know how to start mm. uh, using it or leveraging on it mm. so that we're also not embarrassing ourselves on these social media <laughs> platforms. What advice would you have for them? Yeah, I would say, we, for, I mean, even before I get to basics, mm. you know, my thing when I speak to other brand builders or other marketers is that we cannot forget the basics. Mm. As, you know, in any craft, in you know, whether you're a doctor mm. or whatever, there's some basic fundamental brand building principles mm. and marketing principles. Yeah. I think, um, and I don't know if this makes me f- sound very old in the industry, <laughs> but I know that whenever I speak to, you know, you know my, the, my other, you know, like my CMO friends, yeah. they're very much of, you know, I remember back in our day when we learned, you know, we, yeah. we, le- we, we grafted, but we learned from the, you know, from the, the basics, the fundamentals. I think, I think my first, first ask was, would be, let us start there. Let us um, ground ourselves in the fundamentals, the principles of brand building and marketing. Mm. And then once that is once that is set, mm. then now, now how um, immerse yourself? You know, learn about it. And there's there's so many places now. Like you know, these days education and learning. There's no excuse not to expose yourself. <laughs> you know, more. there's no excuse at all, right? Um, one of the, you start immersing yourself in it, whether it's, it's simple things, like one of my, my best friends right now mm. is Gemini Advanced, which is the, mm. the, the, tool, the tool by Google. Like, it's, it's my, my best friend. In fact, I've learned a lot just on that, right? Mm. So how are we immersing ourselves in small ways and big ways just to get comfortable in this space, right? Yeah. And then challenge ourselves, be bold, right? Mm. Because I think, especially when you're building a brand, which is the job of us as marketers, mm. you cannot be timid. Yeah. You have to be bold mm. um, and you have to, you know, you have to take those steps to, 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 to stretch ourselves creatively, which is what I think AI is doing for us. Mm. Um, so be bold, learn, and then also um, learn from your mistakes, like, which is, I guess, a part of the learning, right? And, yeah. uh, and, and so that we get bigger and uh, so we, we get better at doing this. Mm. Yeah, and I'm, hope, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping we get to a place very soon where it's not a conversation point. It's not like, like people now don't talk about cameras. Like it's yeah. a given, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's a given. Obviously, you're going to use a camera, mm. right? So mm. I hope we get to a space where, you know, AI is just that. It's just another tool that you use to do creative stuff. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Be bold mm. and make sure that you, you learn, right? Mm. Yeah. And before I close off, your highlight, your yeah. best highlight as a photographer, what's the best moment for you? I don't think I have, because for me <laughs> yeah. as a photographer, every, yeah. every time I pick up a camera, mm. I get to interact with, I think the big, best highlight is interacting with people. Right? Mm. You mm. do not know mm. who you're interacting with. Yeah. So for me, Leaving an impact on someone's life. Mm. That's my highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. time you pick up a camera. Yeah. Impact yeah. and interacting yeah. with people. For you, Zizu? Yeah, it's a hundred percent the same thing. Same. And um I think all you know you know, throughout my career and even if I think about the last year at mm. Safaricom, mm-hmm. the parts of my job which I really loved is when I'm on the ground mm. with Kenyans experiencing mm. 
the mm. Safaricom brand. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I think about, I know I keep alluding to this new this campaign which is coming out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if I speak about it yet. <laughs> yeah. You know. But um, you know, we were all over Kenya yeah. filming this thing and. Um, and, you know, huge crew, huge cast and seeing them engage and get mm. excited. I'm just mm. like, oh, this is why I do this job. Yeah. This is why I do this job. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Of course, it has AI, right? This new campaign. No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> no, it didn't. We All keep right. you guessing. We keep you guessing. It actually right. didn't. It didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, I'm so happy you joined me on this conversation. It's been such an enriching mm. conversation. We've learned quite a bit for me. Just listening to you guys uh, gives me a lot of hope that there's so much to come. We are mm. just at the tip mm. of the iceberg. There's so much that we are yet to learn, and I don't think learning ever stops. Mm. It doesn't matter what profession you're in. Mm. But one of the, my biggest takeaways here is that we need to be bold. Mm. We need to master our craft. Yes. Uh, because, again, it's the fundamentals. It's the basics. Uh, be so good at what you do that AI does not yep. become a competitor mm. or technology, not just mm. AI. Mm. Technology is a collaborator and it's not a competitor for us. Yep. So, and AI is here to stay, fortunately or unfortunately, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. So thank you so much for joining the Safaricom Newsroom podcast. I'm hoping that you'll Go check on more content that we've been creating. Uh, remember, we also have the Safaricom Newsroom website. So in case you want to read more about what Safaricom is doing, especially in the tech space, there's a Safaricom website, there's a Safaricom uh, podcast, Newsroom podcast, and so many other conversations like this, which are really fun and educative, uh, especially when it comes to the technology and what Safaricom is really trying to do into this space. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, I've been your host, Julian Kamau. Thank you. Safari com chapa timba. Zing chapa timba. Tuna chapa timba. Cheza kama wewe. Na chapa timba the dreams in come true. Skill me chipa sabu safu wa me come true. Mepata chance ya kushine na ma one two. Skuzi kutawa na